All right, so it is officially 6 p.m. Another Wednesday, another week of Team of the Week. I have no idea what the Team of the Week is going to be because I didn't do predictions and I didn't even look at other people's predictions. We have, ooh, Ling Lingard, look at that dynamic picture. We have Mendy Muriel Kostic. Uh, who do we have for Silver Stars? That is one thing I want to see. So we have Phil Birthday Wallace. Ooh, another Brazilian. The Playground. Playground? Wait, Classic, Max, Silver. What's the difference between that and Silver Lounge? Play the Mega Party Objectives? So, it's the exact same thing, but what's the difference? Is there another objective? The Playground. Am I tripping? Is this a Playground? Huh? I am so confused. It's cool that they gave us another Brazilian, that, this one being from the Serie A. Um, that card doesn't look bad for a silver. That actually looks like a pretty decent um, defend, defensive midfielder, so that's kind of cool. Um, but let's go take a look at the team of the week. That is kind of what this video is about. Uh, and then we'll go take a look at the SPCs that they have released today. Um, let's see what they do have for us. Team of the week number 28 is the week we are on. And we have Matthias in goal. We have Pavard, whose dynamic picture actually looks sick. That little World Cup logo in the middle looks awesome. Um, doesn't look like a terrible card. I think he got like a plus five pace upgrade or something. So that card doesn't look terrible. Still not good, but not terrible. Uh, we have Benjamin Mendy. I think this is his second in form. And this card actually is starting to look pretty nice as a center back. I, I actually know, never mind. High low work, Chris, is pretty poor. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a cool card. It's not terrible. 86 rated. We have Inform Acuna, which is great. This is an incredible card to have. The only thing is I can't use him in SPC Solutions anymore because if I use him, um, he his gold card is going to go up in price since it's out of pack. So that's one of the negatives. But uh, still a very good left back. Of course, we already have a showdown card. If you guys did skip out on that one like me, this card will be very useful from Reds if we do. Um, if, if you can pull him from Reds. We have, I think this is this might be third in form Insigne. That is a pretty cool dynamic image. And it looks like a pretty decent card. Shooting still needs to be boosted, in my opinion, with a chem style. But uh, pace and dribbling is great. Stamina is decent. Good finesse shot. Good side the foot shot trait. Overall, pretty nice card. We have this LaFraud Fabinho here, who no one really cares about because he's a fraud after yesterday's game. Um, we have Jesse Lingard. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot, five-nine high high. And this card actually looks pretty usable. I would put a Hunter on him, Dri dribbling is pretty solid in my opinion already, uh, physical stats are decent, passing stats look solid, in my opinion put a Hunter card, this is a fun card to use man, I think this card will be like 60 to 70k for like maybe quite a while, maybe even over 100k until rewards come out, but that's not a bad card to have, we have Kostic who looks like a very good wing back player as well, um, not really incredible attacking, agility and balance does lack a little bit, dribbling is okay, uh, shooting is decent, and passing is decent as well, um, with good physical stats, so that's it's not a bad card either like as a sub as like a center mid as a winger as a wing back that's not a bad card to have we have like i think this might be second in form yago aspas you know i know he has the, the the player of the month as well um so this is a cool decent card as well um if you look at his most most of his stats they all look pretty good stamina is a little low uh, but he has finesse shot outside the foot shot trait he has three star skills which if he had four four uh this card would be a little bit more usable but not, this is not a bad card to use this card at cam more than anything similar to like a benzema type player that's not a terrible card to use uh we have danny ings who's going to get his headliner upgraded to an 86 i believe it is and is it 86 it should be 86 yeah it's going to be 86 so three star skills four star weak foot Pace is decent, shooting is good, um, dribbling is decent, physical stats look decent. Um, I think this card still needs like one or two informs to be usable. Not really a card that anyone cares about. And then we have Muriel, 4 star, 4 star, 94 pace, 90 dribbling, 88 shot, and 77 physical. What are his end games though? Oh, wow. You know what, man? This card's pretty good. This card's really nice. I don't see a single negative in this card. The only thing is maybe the, the, the stamina. But there's nothing bad about this card. Pace is incredible. Shooting is great. Passing looks great for a striker in my opinion. Uh, curve is good. Dribbling looks incredible. Composure might be like the only negative here. Um, and then stamina isn't insane. But So composure and stamina in my opinion are the only downsides. But 
this card's a beast, man. This card's a beast. I could see this card being quite expensive. And of course, he got the plus two upgrade from his Roads with Final, I be believe it was. We have Inform through Ram on the bench. We have Matthias Pereira as the left mid. After the Chelsea battering, we have Dolberg on the bench. Icone, who... Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, never mind. We have Daka. Uh, this, th didn't this guy have like a silver Inform or something? I feel like I've seen this guy's card somewhere be used. I don't know, but that card looks sort of OP. Terrible composure, though, and then uh, we have really no one here as well. So, honestly, pretty average team of the week. Nothing really too exciting. I would say uh, Muriel, Insigne, and Acuna are like the three best players. And the thing that is that Acuna being in the top three best players is kind of lame. This Fabinho card's not great either. I guess his headliners will have at least 70 pace now as a center back, so that's kind of cool. Um, but overall, pretty a pretty mad team of the week. Nothing too exciting. It, it's like... Cool, but not not insane. And then, oh, so this is... So th did I miss this? Or did they just put this in? So this is for a rare mega back. Score 15 goals in the foot live friendly. The playground with at least five players with minimum four-star skills. So if you did Samba Stars or if you haven't done Samba Stars, this is going to be very useful because they all have uh, the five-star skills or whatever it is. Um, so that is cool to have. So assist four goals using midfielders in the foot live friendly with at least five players with minimum four-star skills. Play eight matches... Um, which is okay, and then score four for Nesco. So play eight matches is the max you have to do, which is not bad. Honestly, I would say try the hardest you can. This might be a little bit toxic, but try as hard as you can for three, four, five games, whatever it is. Um, score those 15 goals, get the assists, get the finesse goals, whatever, and then literally just go, just go, uh, go into a game, put the controller down and just get your eight games done for a rare mega pack. I think that's awesome. Make sure you do that by Friday as well, because of course, um, the, the foot birthdays are only in packs until Friday. So make sure, um, about that, but I don't think there will be anything new. I think this might be new. I'm not too sure. I don't really do the daily SPCs just cause I don't care. I don't know if these Wefa Marky matchups are new or not, which it looks like they're not because this is from yesterday. So this was already here, six days on those. And then the league SBCs do expire today, like the the, the Premier League one um, and then something else. The Premier League one and the league un, one um, do expire. Do we have any new icons? I don't think we do because they would have popped up here, I think. Uh, so no new icons either. So no new icons, really. We only got the new team of the week, the new Silver Stars. And, and that is pretty much it for the content today, man. A pretty meh kind of day. I guess the, like, the 55k pack is kind of cool and somewhat fun to play with because you can use your, your Samba Stars, which I still need to go do. So I'm going to go do the Samba Stars. Then I'm going to go do the other thing um, and, and kind of just try and have fun with the game and, and try and get that 55k pack because why not? Let's open the small rare Electrum Players pack uh, for the end. Um, we'll take a look at the new Silver Star in-game stats, and then we will end the video. So I'm looking at here because he looks like he does have five-star skills and three-star weak foot. EA just tweeted it out, so that's pretty that's pretty cool for a CDM. No, nothing insane. I feel like his dribbling should have to be boosted for the five-star skills to at least be like a little bit relevant. But let me transition here so I don't spoil anything. Okay, never mind. I'm not spoiling anything because that's my <laughs> that's my managerial masterpiece squad. So Brazilian. What do we have? CDM from the Syria from Udinese and for Udinese. Oh, you know what? This could actually be kind of cool because he gets a strong link to Del Feo. Now, this card from 72 to 74. So he's gotten the five star skills upgrade plus 12 pace, plus five shooting, um, plus seven passing. What is that? Plus 18 dribbling, plus three, four, seven, 17 defending. 17 defending? I think that's 17 defending. Uh, and then 8, eight 5, 13 physical. So that's cool. Um, pace looks good for... We're, we're talking about a silver, right? So we have to we have to acknowledge that. Uh, shooting stats for a CDM looks decent. Passing stats are great for a silver. Incredible drip. Wow. 90 agility, 90 balance. 6 foot 2. 90 interceptions. 87 def Jumping is terrible. Yo, this, this is kind of like a usable card. You know what, man? EA have done an incredible job. EA have done an incredible job. I, I, you, you just got to give it to them, man. Like, the amount of silver players that you have that are just for birthdays in general or just usable silvers is great. And it makes me kind of want to use them in Weekend League because they actually look like fun cards to use. So if you go for birthday here, you could link up this Marcos Andre, this Paulo Otavio, this Dalbert, and the Wallace, and you can get a strong link to Wallace from players like Pereira, the, the 
what is it, the What If Pereira, which I don't think got the upgrade. He might still be eligible, but I don't think he is. Um, so yeah, we have Pereira, we have Delfeo, DePaul, who really isn't that usable, but this Pereira card's decent. You can play him as a box to box, you can play him as a center mate, as a wing back, whatever you want. But if you have the Delfeo, which I do, I think it's great. So I'm definitely going to be going, going to get that card. I think it's a decent day for content. I honestly think that silver player for the week it is the best part that we got for today because of course the team of the week isn't really too exciting i, I feel like if we would have gotten like weekend league plus um it, it would have been a little cooler a little bit more hype but whatever it is what it is that is going to be it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy drop a like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you guys next video that's day and i'm out